All right, guys, as it is quite trendy to do, today I'm gonna to be going over my EDC pack. Now, this is gonna be a little bit of a divergence from my normal videos because there are no knives, no firearms, specifically in this pack. This is literally what I use for work or just carries all of my work-related equipment. So I will let you guys try to guess what I do for work, but it'll probably be pretty obvious once we open this up. So first things first, on the outside before we get into the pack itself, of course I have my water bottle here. I always have a water bottle because having water is really handy. Then next to that, on both of these um, straps for the shoulders, I have two things. So I first have my ID for my work. Obviously I have the badge in and out of the facility, so I do need that. And then I have my truck keys on this on the other up opposite strap. So this is also pretty cool. I do want to take a quick second to mention, this is a black ember um, kind of magnetic keychain. And what I really like about this is I can keep this on this strap. And then there's this really neat or nifty kind of QD mount here. So all I have to do is just pop this off and then I have my truck keys. So if I want to auto start my truck, you know, from inside a building or from inside my house or whatever, I can do that with this on here. And so it's just like that. I can just use my auto start. And then when it's time to actually get in the truck, I can take my pack, just pop this key right off of it. And then, you know, put it in the ignition and drive away. So really awesome little quick detach, quick detach, um, little keychain there. And it is very strong, very robust. I mean, probably wouldn't support the weight of a human, but certainly very strong and then it just pops right off pops right up like this and then releases so also it's super easy to throw back on there you don't even really have to look and you can do it so anyways that's what's on the outside now let's jump into it so in this first pouch uh, i will say there's this little yoke here so as far as the pack goes, this is a Maxpedition. This is one of their older school designs. It's the Jeer Falcon. And I really like it because it does hold pretty much everything I need. And it also doesn't hold too much. With my EDC packs or like work pack, I really like something that can hold just what I need and not anything else. So first off, we're gonna go into the most disappointing part of this pack and that is the main compartment. So main compartment on any given day is actually pretty much empty. There are a few things we'll get into, but I leave this pretty much empty because I do also use this as a school backpack. So there'll be times where I throw a laptop, some textbooks, different things like that. And so this main compartment on any given day is empty because I change what I need specifically to fit for that day. Now, like I said, there are a few things in here. What I usually leave is um, my wireless headset or my wireless uh, like earbuds in a way. They're actually aftershocks um, and they're not usually my go-tos. I do have um, my Apple AirPods that I will usually or normally run, but these are kind of my backups. And then next to that, I have... Um, one of my battery banks. So this is my 10,000 milliamp battery bank and it is connected of course to a lightning cable because most of what I use for technology is Apple. So like my phone is there. So then in this little back container is just um, a few things I carry. Um, so then in this little back container, I have just a few things, things like chapstick or lip balm, stuff like that, like little things that you are kind of handy. And then I have a backup smaller battery bank. So this guy is just like a, uh, I think this is a 3000, but so this is like a, a 2500 milliamp hour little battery. And then attached to that or not attached to that, but next to that is a kind of just quick um, like little wall mount. So just for your gen generic, you know, plugging this into a wall and then I have some spare cords. So I have a USB-C and a micro USB because some of what I do need to charge is micro USB. And of course, some things I need to charge are USB-C as well. It's kind of unfortunate, especially in the Apple ecosystem where some things are USB-C and other things are lightning cable. Kind of is frustrating, but I do need all three of them. So I try to keep, you know, two small cords those are kind of my backups and then most of my stuff is charged off of lightning cables so that's basically how that is broken down once again that area is pretty pretty empty because i really um, put other things in there like 
things like textbooks, uh, things like uh, computers and stuff, and so I do need more room for that. Now jumping over into what is more packed is first off, this little guy here. I have a bunch of assorted snacks, things like big bars, uh, trail mix, just different things packed away in this very front pouch. I don't have a whole lot of stuff in there, but just some food because sometimes, especially when you're like studying and stuff, it's nice to know that you have snacks on you. You don't have to go find a vending machine or like try to buy food. Uh, you just have snacks there. So it's kind of like the mini snack pack there. Now, what carries most of my work essentials is this kind of middle pouch. So you have that big pack or big pouch that we just went over. We have the little uh, snack pack right there. And so this middle area right here is what holds most of what I will use on either a daily basis or on a regular basis. So things like my uh, stethoscope, this is a Littman Cardiology 3. I don't use it every day, but I do like to have it in case I need it because I do not like using other people's stethoscopes or just like community steth stethoscopes, like um, where I work, there are, you know, like a bunch of them, but I trust my own, I like my own, and it has not been in anyone else's ears, so I keep it clean, keep it my own. So there's that. Um, then beneath that, or kind of on the side, we have the Leatherman Raptor, which is just uh, trauma shears, so that is what those guys are. Then right here, unfortunately in the lighting, it's probably very hard to see, is just my pit vipers. So I don't honestly wear these too, too often, but I have the pit vipers because it's a part of like my PPE. So in certain cases, in, in certain situations, I have to wear like eye protection. And so I just like my pit vipers because they're purple, they're fun, they're a little bit exotic. So yeah, probably you guys wouldn't expect me to wear pit vipers, but I do occasionally. So that is what is there. And then in this kind of the next area. So next to that is like this little vocera is what it's called. And that is just used to communicate with different people within the facility. They are super handy little tools. They're kind of like phones essentially, but uh, used like internally to communicate with different people in different parts of our facility. So there's that. Uh, and then beneath that is nothing really too exciting. I just have assorted pens and markers. So, you know, like highlighters, sorted Sharpie pens and Sharpie markers. I have uh, like fine point Sharpie markers, ultra fine point sharp, Sharpie markers, and, uh, you know, just like Sharpie pens and stuff. So just stuff I like to write with. And then of course, the last thing that I do use or, you know, kind of carry EDC is of course a little Streamlight Stylus Pro. And so that guy just lives in there. So that's basically just about everything that I use. Just double checking. So that's basically everything that I use on a daily basis for work. And so that's kind of, uh, you know, just work related EDC and why I like to have all that stuff. You know, it's stuff that I use. Well, some of it, not every day, but some of it, uh, or some of it, not every day, but all of it pretty routinely and pretty regularly. So. That's basically it. Once again, when it comes to an EDC pack, um, I try to keep like literally the bare essentials and just what I know I'm going to use. I don't really like to throw a lot of extra stuff for what ifs in here because this is something that, you know, if like, you know, for survival stuff, my truck has a whole survival pack with survival equipment. You know, everything else is pretty redundant in my life. So I don't really carry a whole lot of extra stuff with this work pack, primarily because like, once again, I'm throwing things like computers, like heavy textbooks, like stuff like that in the main compartment so I need the space and I want to keep the weight low because this is something that I'm going to be carrying around um you know all day or this is something to be carrying around and I just don't really want to have to deal with a whole lot of excess weight extra garbage that I won't genuinely use so everything in here is stuff that is regularly or routinely used on either a daily basis or a weekly basis so anyways that is my EDC pack hopefully you guys probably guessed already by now what I do for work so I was trying to not reveal too much some of it is obviously a little bit obvious uh, but yeah anyways guys as always God bless and I'm out.